Hello and welcome to the first video in a brand new series where we're going to be looking at the Air and Calder Navigation Canal which runs all the way from Leeds and down to Goul on the east there you can see. We're going to be looking at any old remains and anything abandoned along the whole route across multiple videos. So we're going to be looking for old locks, old buildings, old mills and old pubs and things like that that remain today. Over the next couple of videos we're going to be concentrating on the St Aidan's Colliery site which is just down here. Now back in 1988 this huge site here used to be an open cast colliery and there was a large disaster that meant that the river air burst its banks and flooded the entire site. When that happened they re-diverted the air and colder navigation and the river air a few hundred yards further south. So what you're seeing on the two blue lines there is the original route of the canal and the air and colder navigation. So we're going to be looking at this whole section across three different videos which are coming up very soon on this channel. But in today's video we're going to be starting at the bottom side here, which is known as the Fleet Lock Site. We're going to be looking for the abandoned lock which was situated here, called the Fleet Lock, and also any remains along this route of the old canal navigation and the river air as well. In the second video we're going to be taking a look at this whole disaster that happened at the St Aidan's Colliery. So we're going to do a full video on that alone. And we're going to be looking for any remains of that flood breach down here. And then finally, in the third video, we're going to look at the Lemonroid Lock. So we're not going to be looking at the new one, which is down here. We're going to be looking for the old lock that still remains on the old route. So we're going to take a look around the site and see if we can find that and anything that remains. Okay, so let's get down on the ground and we're going to start just at the other side of this weir here on the bridge and we're going to make our way around here looking for any of the old navigation that remains and then we're going to venture over here to look at the old lock. Hello and welcome to another video. So today we're down here at the Air and Calder Navigation which is just outside Woodlesford in Leeds and I'm currently on the site of the Lemonroid Marina and I've just, uh, at the other side of it now, I've just crossed the bridge over the weir, which is now, I'm on the site of the River Air. And just behind me you can see the River Air flowing down the weir and off towards Castleford, this way. So, what I'm going to do down here today is we're going to go and explore the original route of the River Air and the Calder navigation. So, where they both ran alongside each other, we're going to go and explore the original route so this is the River Air Weir. So you've got Lemonroid Marina just over there and the new lock just on that side there. This is the River Air just here. So you've got Leeds that way and Castleford that way. As you can see it's quite, quite fast today. So like I say, I stood here on the weir now and all this is brand new. So like I said, it was rerouted from just back there, which I'm going to take a look at later in this video. It left the original route of the canal and the river and it headed further south and towards where we're going to go now. But this is brand new, this is where they rerouted it. This is even the, even the river here. So this weir was built in the 90s and you can tell by the banking down there, it's all concrete. So this is part of the new section of the River Air, just down here. Just reminds me of the front of the Titanic here. <laughs> this section. I might have to start singing in a minute. What a lovely view. I can imagine on a summer's day it'd be lovely. As you can see the water is quite fast. Now it's just after the, the uh, storms that we had, the Chiara and Dennis. It's just after that, we're about two weeks after that. So it should have cleared by now but it's still quite heavy is the water. We've, had a, we've still had a bit of rain so you're going to carry on. But I'm going to look down here so I show you. some kind of a flood culvert or something down there. 
So it's a little bit quieter now. I've just left the, where the wheel was. So I can probably talk a bit softer now. And you can hear me. So I'm just heading along the uh, St. Aidan's Country Park footpath. It's a public footpath, as you can see up there. So I'm just heading down the side of the River Air this way. So it's a bit muddy today, but I've got my wellies on ready. And it's actually now a uh, RSPB nature park, as you can see on there. We're going to keep heading up there and have a look for the abandoned lock. I love, I love abandoned things. I love it when you say that word, the abandoned lock. So just behind the camera here is the St. Aidan's Nature Park. Like I said, it's absolutely massive. It covers quite a few square miles. And it used to be an open cast mine. And now it's a lovely bird sanctuary. And you can come down here with the car and have a look round and visit. It's beautiful. It's so peaceful and quiet, especially, especially in winter. And we are right in the midst of the... We've just left the storms and the flooding that happened a couple of weeks ago now. So we had to endure all the misery of that. Which meant I couldn't get out vlogging either because the weather was just absolutely awful. So this is the first day we've had a clear sky where I can come out and do some vlogging. I've been waiting for this for weeks. And now it looks like we're about to be locked down due to... So we might be quarantined for a few weeks in the house. So I'm down here today to get it over and done with quickly. Get all these videos filmed so that I can cover for the next few weeks or months on the channel lots of good videos. So I'm, I'm not going to wait for the best weather. I'm going to come out when I can really and when the weather is okay. So you might see quite a few videos coming up on the channel in the next few weeks that are going to be this kind of weather where it's a bit gloomy but all right, you know, not, not sunny but fine, not raining anyway. But hopefully I can get some decent videos and some footage before we end up getting locked down for a few weeks because the worst thing to do when you get locked down is you know to be bored so I'm gonna have lots of video editing to do with these so if I can get all the footage in the next couple of days before we get locked down I mean we don't know when that is we don't even know if we are gonna but at least I've got something to do to keep us occupied so hopefully You'll have something to watch as well, whilst you're sat in, probably bored, but have something to watch. So, you can see where we are now. I'm just walking through the nature park. It's just a nice public footpath, like I say. And uh, we're heading in this direction here. Now I believe, where well, you can see the yellow grass here. This was the original canal, the original navigation here somewhere here anyway it could actually be where i'm walking now i'm gonna have a closer look at the maps but i'm i'm right around where it would have been so what we're gonna do is just have a look around here and see if there's anything remotely interesting i'm gonna keep walking around and have a look now it's just mud down here at the minute and long grass i'm looking for any maybe any banking stones or anything like that but i'm just trying to get over here you just can't get through them brambles. But again, like I said, there's another ditch there. So I reckon that's the river air over there. And this is the air and colder navigation here. So this canal would have been built, you know, in the Victorian era, maybe just before that. So it's quite an old section here. And we've got a lovely brand new section just over there now. So I'm going to keep heading this way and I'll let you know when I find something. So right where we are now, on the uh, Aaron Calder, like I said, we've obviously just dumped a load of spoil in here when they were building the new one. But where I'm stood, just on the edge of it here, so that would have been the navigation there. There's a brick wall just under here, or a stone wall. You see that runs in a straight line that way. So I think I'm on the edge of the navigation here. Just gonna try to see if I can see anything. No, I can't really see, it's covered in brambles, but there's a brick wall underneath here. So I'm reckoning this is the edge of the navigation here. So I'm just walking along the uh, side of the 
River Air now and what they've done when they remodeled the Aaron Calder as I've just shown you in the little clip they narrowed it down from a navigation and a river now obviously they built the navigation because the river used to meander everywhere and it also had lots of weirs in it as well so when they closed the old section of river down because it flooded and the old canal when they moved it over this side they just used or just built a new river basically so they built a wide river which is a navigation as well so the, the river now carries boats and uh, all the canal vehicles so it's now the navigation and the river in one which it does a lot of times anyway but that's what they did to save money rather than build two separate channels and they did that obviously when they reconstructed it in the 90s and um, only the section where the Lemon Road Marina and the new lock is is where it branches off so it then leaves the river and goes into its own navigation at the side of it that's where like I said just for the Lemon Road lock, lock, lock and marina and then it meets the old navigation further down so that's all they've done really but I'm just down here the other side of the Lemon Road lock now and you can see where so there's the lock and you can see that's the navigation and now it meets the river air just there so the river air goes down there and this navigation meets here originally before it collapsed on the other side like I showed you on the map the river air and the navigation ran side by side all the way around and then the river air collapsed so when they rerouted it over here they just rerouted the river air instead so you've now got a wide channel here which is the river air and the navigation only breaks off here for the lock and the marina because there's a weir down there on the river air so they've used a the lock here for the barges and then you've got the marina just here and then it joins further up the original navigation back there and the river air joins the original river air, river air back there as well so where there was two and they split off and followed each other they now both just meet here on the new one so rather than build two channels all the way through the new ones they just built the river air able to take the traffic and it merges here so right about where I am now is where the old route merges into the new route of the canal and the river air so you had the navigation and the river air coming out of Leeds and like I said they used to follow the bank of the uh, mine but now like I showed you they are totally rerouted and uh, just at the start now of where the original river air used to run off on its old route around the edge of the mine and the Calder navigation used to follow uh, the original route as well so I'm going to take you back here but also while I'm up here there used to be a lock here as well I'll just show you on this old map here where I am so take a look at this map you'll see there's an old lock there or like a sluice gate or a, basically an access from the river to the uh, navigation I don't know if it was a lock I think it says lock on the map so it would have been and we're just going to head to that site now where that used to be so right where I am now that's the river air heading off into Leeds it used to come up here and then it used to branch up there into where the wetlands is now and curve all the way around the back now they've rerouted it here so this is the new section where it starts so it used to go up here and you'll see there's a new weir down there now and the navigation is just beyond this site here running on the original route there and just down here there was a little uh, block in the middle and you can still see it now I'll just show you down there now so just down there you've got the air and colder navigation running that way and then you can see this little spur here and it used to run up here and into the river air which was just up here but you can still see the old lock up here so right where I am now it would have run across here and into the river air which is there now but like I said the river air would have gone 
up here and then banked that way. You can still see the lock here. And it's a lock wall. It's all silted up now. But there's the original lock wall on the other side there. So I don't know if this was just some kind of a, a channel to get the water into the river air to empty the canal a bit or maybe even to take water from the river air or whether it was actually a lock for boats to go in and out. I'm presuming it was. Like I said, where I am now you can't really see where the lock gate was so I've no idea what of its use. And then just down here is the weir on the river air. So this is the new section where it starts now. So it leaves here and then heads in that direction to the new navigation up there. So all this is brand new, let's we'll say from the 90s anyway. So you can see the weir there. And then you've got Lemon Royd Lock just behind us, which replaces this.